In this video, I'm going to talk about this video that Anthony Riley just made that is attempting to present the evidence and soundly is a fraud. So Anthony had this guest on called Nami Nam, and basically Nami Nam, or let's call him NB, says that he can analyze his footage from soundly and trying to prove that soundly's footage is a fraud. So basically this is the photo of the bridge over the lake and there's a few things he's trying to say. He's saying, first of all, that these signs seem too close together. Um, second of all, he's saying this hut doesn't appear to be in the right place. And third of all, he's saying the hut is orientated incorrectly. And why does he say the hut is orientated incorrectly? And why does he say it's the hut is in the wrong place? So basically he's saying this is a marker. This is 0.5 miles and the hut is not at 0.5 miles, is the hut is at 1.1 miles. All right, so let's um, analyze this and see what's going on. So at this point in the video, at 53 minutes, 46 seconds, basically NB is saying, this is a photo taken from Google Earth, from, a, from Street View, from a car sitting over here, looking at the hut, and you can see that this pipe here is represented over here with this pipe. Now the thing is, now the thing what he's saying is, is Stanley's photo, the hut is orientated incorrectly because in the Google Earth photo, you can see that the, the face of the hut is where the pipe comes out of. And here we can see the pipe comes out of the other face. So it's orientated incorrectly. Now the problem is, this is where NB's problems start. These lines over here are the lines from the hut towards the camera. So the left line is blue and the left of the hut is to the camera is blue and the right of the hut to the camera is red. This is where the camera from the Google Earth car was street view was situated when it took this photo. So of course the car from Google Earth from street view is going to see this side of the hut. It's going to see the east side of the hut. Whereas Stanley, he took his photo from the shore. And the shore is this direction south. So he's going to see the south side of the hut. So let's analyze this photo. Here we see the hut. Here we see a blue sign. All right. Here we see the green sign. So this green sign is identified as the 0.5 mile marker. And this is 0 0.6, 0 0.7. This is a blue sign. So we're going to go on Google Earth and identify these um, items. So here we have the hut. We have mile 1.1. So the hut is about 1.1 miles away from the beginning of the, of the bridge. This is where the photo was taken from. Notice that the photo intersects the blue call box 4 and the 0.5 mile. So as we saw in the photo, the, the sign for the blue box 4 is right to the left of the hut, and the sign for the 0.5 mile is right to the right of the hut. Just, just let's prove that we are, have it correct. So we'll put the man here, right here. And let's see if we can see the sign. There we see 0.5 mile. And let's see, we identified the blue call box correctly. Put the man in. And there you see, call box identified correctly. So, if you understand that the where the photo was taken from, very oblique angle with the bridge. This is exactly what you would expect to see. You would expect to see from your point of field of view, from line of sight, we'll cross the blue Corbo box marker, get very close to the 0.5 mile marker, and then reach the hut, exactly what you would expect. So, that proves that this so-called proof of NB has no merit. And the fact that NB 
is putting a man here, he takes the man, puts him next to the 0.5 mile marker, and tries to look around the marker for the hut. He's telling us he has no idea that the, the photo was taken from the south, not from the east. The photo wasn't taken from this direction, the photo was taken from the south. So where you're meant to look from the 0.5 mile, you're meant to look along the line of sight where the photo was taken from. Now, the thing is, if you put a man here at 0.5 miles, you're not going to be able to see the hut from the Google Street View because Google Street View cannot see distant objects. It's not zoomed in. Whereas this camera is a P900. It's zoomed in all the way to be able to see distant objects. So that's why distant objects look big on the photo it's not because they are big or close, it's because they're zoomed in on the P900. If you zoom out on the P900, they'll look very small. So the reason why it's very difficult to see the hut, if you put a man next to the 0.5 miles, is because it's far away. From, from, from the 0.5 miles to the hut, it's about 0.6 miles. So you're not going to be able to see it on Street View, because Street View is not designed to see distant objects. It's not zoomed in. But if you're using a P900, yes, you will see distant objects because P900 is designed to see distant objects. So this idea of NB that you should be looking around here to be able to see the hut is basically based on a flawed understanding of where the hut is, a flawed understanding of perspective, and a flawed understanding of the fields of view and lines of sight. Now the other thing that um, NB keeps on going on about is from here to here is 0.1 of a mile. And as you get further along the breach, they seem to get closer and closer. And he's, he's saying that doesn't make any sense. Why are they getting so close? It's, it's 0.1 of a mile. This is about 160 meters long. It's, you know, it's, not, it's not a small distance. Why does it appear so small? The reason why it appears such a small distance is because as you get further and further away, it becomes more and more compressed. And you can see the same exact effect happening over here. Here we have a scene. We have the close lights. And as you get further and further away, they we get more and more close together. They seem to get closer together. They're more compressed. That's exactly what perspective causes. Distant objects get compressed together. Close objects are less compressed. The other thing that you can notice is that close objects there's a bigger difference between this one and this one. This shrinks a lot quicker compared to this one than this one and this one. The shrinking is not as great as you get further and further away compared to closer objects. Now, the reason why distant objects don't shrink very fast is because of the law of perspective and the difference between close versus distant objects. So, if you have two objects, one is, let's say, 100 meters away, and one is 300 meters away, right? The one that's 300 meters away will appear three times smaller because it's three times further, and the angle of arc will be three times smaller. So this angle, the blue angle, will be three times smaller than the red angle because it's three times further. But if you have the distance between this one and this one is 200 meters. Now, if we take 200 meters, but put them instead of 100 meters away, let's say it's um, 1,600 meters away and 1,800 or 1 1.6 kilometers or 1.8 kilometers, then you're going to see the difference between 18 and 16 or 1.8 kilometers and 1.6 kilometers is 12.5 times further. So this is 12.5% times further will be 12.5% times smaller. The angle of arc will be 12.5% times smaller. The difference between the red angle and the blue angle will be very, very small compared to these ones. Even though these ones, they're both about 200 meters difference, right? This is 200 meters and this is 200 meters. But because this is very close to you, it's going to have a much bigger effect than distant objects. Distant objects are going to um, recede away from you and shrink at a much smaller rate. Now, most of the objections by NB about this 
scene and saying this scene seems fake is based on a, a complete lack of understanding of how perspective works on, on such a scene. So here we have a very similar orientation. We have a camera looking down an oblique angle on a highway looking down at lights. So as you get further and further away, the lights compress. Close lights are not as compressed, exactly what we see over here. Further signs are compressed. Close signs are not as compressed. The other thing is that he kept on saying is the signs don't seem to shrink very much. The same thing happens here. The lights don't seem to shrink very much compared to close ones. It's just a basic law of perspective. Now in the next slide, I'm going to try to analyze what happens when you zoom into distant objects with the law of perspective and zooming in, what happens? So I'm, in the next slide, I'm going to zoom into this section here and compare it to this section here. So here I have the same picture. This section is zoomed in to the very distant lights. This section is the close lights. Now what I've done is I've brought these lights zoomed in. So now this one is almost the same size as this one, except this one's zoomed in and this isn't. Now, what can you see here? A very similar, what um, NB was complaining about is that these ones seem too close together compared to these ones. Now, that's exactly what happens when you zoom in to distant objects. You will find that they look very close together and they don't seem to shrink very fast from one object to the next. So you can be saying, how is it possible that this object is, let's say, um, 20 meters. Let's say it's 20 meters from this one to this one. How could this be also 20 meters? They don't seem to be the same distance. If this is 20 meters, how could this be 20 meters? They look only half the distance. Well, that's exactly what happens with perspective and zooming in. When you zoom in into distant objects, they seem to be closer together. Not that they are closer together, it's just from our perspective, that's what happens when you zoom in. They seem closer together, they don't seem to shrink, they seem to compress. These are all factors that we see over here. They seem closer together, they seem compressed, they don't seem to shrink. All these arguments that he kept on making, and be kept on making, can be seen in this photo. This is exactly what you meant to see. This is exactly what you see here. This is exactly how perspective works. And most of the arguments are easily explained. It's a basic uh, lack of understanding of how perspective works and a basic lack of understanding on the of the concept of line of sight.